Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have a watch in for review from Christopher Ward. Christopher Ward sent this one out. This is the C65 Dartmouth. Um, I consider them a little higher than a micro brand. Uh, Christopher Ward has been around for quite a while. Swiss made watches um, designed in London. Um, and they're, I mean, I really like what I see. This is a lot of watch for the money. It, it retails like right around $1,000. Um, but this is just a beautiful timepiece. So let's get in, let's get into this. So this is the packaging. I also have to add the packaging is done really well. Um, here's the outer sleeve, and here is the watch. Let's this just kind of slides out. You have instruction manual. Uh, let's see here. What's in here? I believe this is. Looks like a cleaning cloth, so they give you a clean cloth. We also have, I believe this is the instruction booklet. Yeah, C65 Series 1 Owner's Manual. So you have everything you need to know. In fact, there's all the specs right there. And we'll get into that. And let's see if I can get this out. This is possibly, oh, this is the warranty card. Um, and I'm sure this is, this might be, yeah, 6060 uh, guarantee. Um, it is a chronometer watch, so I don't know if, if uh, they send you the chronometer certificate. It might be in the, in the packaging somewhere here, but this is the watch. So I really like this one. They, they asked me what I wanted to review on the channel. This is the one I chose. So I like the vintage look of this one, the C65. I mean, it's just beautiful. It reminds me of the older Omega Seamasters. Uh, this one pretty much is, you know, 1960s, you know, maritime watch, British Royal Navy, you know, style dive watch. So just beautiful. And the thing about this is it's got real thin lugs, nice taper to them. It wears very nicely. I like the large crown. Um, they've done a lot of things right with this model. So let me get the dimensions out of the way. It's a 41 millimeter from side to side. It is 47 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. It's coming in at 12 millimeters thick, which is a very thin watch for a diver. And then also you have 22 millimeter lug opening. Okay, so I think the proportions are perfect. You have solid in links, all completely brushed throughout, except for some of these chamfers. So you're brushed on the top of the lugs, you got a polished chamfer running down the top there uh, and on the side, and then underneath it's polished as well. And then there's your case back. You have dis quick disconnect on the um, in links. The bracelet is top notch. Fold over clasp, all fully milled. Dual button. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, so your diver's extension on it. You just push this button here, and this releases. If I could do it on camera, this releases that. See? So you got a little bit of adjustment there. Okay, so there's that. Nice signed crown. That beautiful blue dial. I mean, it's a matte blue dial. I'm trying to get in the light to where it shows how that it's matte. Kind of hard to tell at this. Yeah, it's hard to hard to show. You guys may see that. It looks kind of shiny to me. There it is. A little matte there. You can kind of see that. Applied markers, very nice hands, white second hand, just on like the older Seamasters from the 60s. Nice big triangle up there, just like the older Seamasters. 120 click bezel. And done very well. I mean, that is very grippy. It's coin edged. You see that there. And it's kind of smaller, kind of like a Tudor Black Bay, that vintage style, but very good action. It has a sapphire crystal. It's a boxed kind of vintage sapphire crystal, vintage style. Kind of like the old plastic crystals. I like that because it's got some distortion at certain angles. Still very readable. Like if you're looking at the time here, you can still see it.
chronometer. It's running the SW200 movement. 38 hour power reserve, beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Uh, negative four to plus six, plus six seconds a day. So it is a COSC certified watch or cer certified movement. I believe these are, yeah, they're push. I thought they were screwing links, but they are push in uh, pins. Very nice oyster style bracelet. Really nice watch. I mean, this is top notch. Let me put it on the wrist. It's not sized to me, but here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Fits me perfect. It's like the perfect dimensions. And look how thin that is. I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing with Christopher Ward. I mean, they, they've come a long way. And I think this design here is just, I mean, if I was in the market for one of these, I'd pick one up. I mean, this is a beautiful watch. Very good price also. Good looking timepiece. Let's do a loom shot. And then we can close. And I'll have a link in the description to their uh, website. You guys can check them out. I'll have a link to this actual watch. And the loom is also phenomenal. So here we go. Here's the loom. Very bright. Did a great job with this one. Anyway, there you have it, guys. This is the review of the Christopher Ward C65 Dartmouth. It's headed next to uh, Aaron over at the OFD channel, so check him out. I'll probably, once he uploads his, I'll attach his uh, video to this, uh, to this video as well so you guys can see that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next, next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.